everyone and welcome. This is Melissa with the thestockswish.com. It is about 5.30 on Thursday evening and I thought I'd review the market. Uh, just taking a look here at what the market did this week. Let's go back to... Well, this was the fall that happened Friday. So this was Monday. Tuesday we gapped down. I was surprised to see this. We did fall hard on Tuesday. A medium day here in the SPY. We did fall through a little bit on Wednesday, and then today we rallied. And I just want to point out that we rallied today and completely retraced the last two bars from yesterday. So, again, we're higher. I didn't think we'd fall the way that we did two days ago, but it really doesn't have any meaning in the chart. The chart's still holding. The chart's still strong. We still will get up over up this area and make a new high. The timing of which now, though, we'll just have to wait and see because I don't know if we're going to immediately go right over the high, which wouldn't be tomorrow, tomorrow's Friday, but I mean in the next few days of trading, next week or so. Or if we're going to wiggle and jiggle in here before we get up over the high. We're still going to do it though. We're still going to make a new high in the market. We're still going to continue higher this year. Just because we fell for two days this week doesn't mean anything bearish, although I'm sure that people are looking at this area here as an area of resistance that is going to hold, and I'm sure people shorted it. Why would people have did that? Because we did do a double top. We have rallied here for a while, uh, and we also did have this move here back on the 4th, and then the follow through on the 6th, and the big red bar and the gap down, and the trading down the last two days. I'm sure that people are short this market thinking that the move is over and that it's going to drop. I received some email I don't pay attention to who they're from, and I don't read them, but I just read the initial title in it that the market's going to crash again. I got something yesterday or today about it. It's, I, I just think it's irresponsible for people actually to say they think the market's going to crash, in case, unless they actually truly in their heart of hearts think the market's going to crash. But what happened back here, I'm just going to take this back here. What happened back here when all that banking crisis happened back in 2008, 2009, you know, that, that I guess you could have considered really a crash, even though I really wouldn't have considered it a crash because, of course, it actually could have been a lot worse. Uh, things could always be a lot worse. But some people did consider it a crash, and I could, I could understand how you could have said that. You could have rationalized that. But even that kind of look, this drop-off that happened here, this is all when... The mortgage crisis was happening at the time. I was doing loans. This kind of thing isn't going to happen again anytime soon and may never happen again and really could have been a lot worse anyways. But I'm just saying this kind of thing is what people are predicting now or worse than this. Actually, people are saying worse than this, and it, it's just not going to happen. Okay, The market looks great. And I said the other day I didn't think we had a deep pull in. We didn't. We did drop down for two days, and one day we immediately retraced it. Market rallied all day today. Let's take a look at the 15 minute chart. You could have bought the market today out of the gate. The open today was 205.26, and the low of the day was literally 205.20. You could have bought the market aggressively out of the gate today. That would have been very aggressive, but you could have done it. And I did see the market rallying this morning, and it would have been so aggressive to do it. But I knew the market was going to hold. I thought it would hold up here. The fact that it didn't doesn't mean anything. Does it do anything to this chart? No, not at all. But I know what people are looking at. People are looking at lower highs and lower lows. And that's what set up here in the last week and a half. And people are looking at that, and they're looking at this pivot in here as a lower low from this pivot and this pivot, and they're going to look at this as a lower high and think the market's going to drop again. And I don't see that setting up. And even if it did, the market was still strong. And even if it did, it wouldn't break this uptrend. And even if we made another pivot low, lower high and lower low would still not break the uptrend of the market. And this gap, this bearish gap here and the bearish gap here, bearish gaps here have had no effect on this market. And I definitely would not have shorted them. Now, could you have shorted them and made money on the day? Sure. Would I have done that or called it in the room? Did I? No. So market is higher. Uh, you know, remember what I said. The bulls are there. Even if you think they're not there, they're there. How do I know? Because I know how to read gaps. And what I mean is I, I can pick out the gaps that are significant and important in both directional biases, bullish and bearish. And therefore, I know that the bulls are still in here. They're still in control of the chart. 
It is about who's in control. The bears aren't in control. They weren't even in control barely for the last two days. Look at what happened today and the retracement back. Although I know people read trends based on pivots, I do not. I read trends based on quality golden gaps. Gaps are at 26 points or more per the 26 point rating system to determine what the gap is going to do or follow through on the daily chart. And it's just not here in the market to drop or fall or do any kind of major correction or catastrophe or anything that people are saying. It's just not even remotely realistic. And, and the fact that people are saying it, I think, is re irresponsible unless they truly believe it. And I don't even know if people believe the things they say. When I say something, I say it with conviction, and I actually believe the things I say. And that's why one of the reasons I'm so accurate in my trading and the things that I say when I speak with confidence and conviction, because I know what I'm doing. I know how to trade, know how to read charts, I know how to read price. I'm saying that the market's still higher, and it is. And I'm not the least bit surprised about how we traded today, that we opened and held the low in the open and rallied today and did a beautiful, beautiful move. So again, if you want to learn how to read trends and charts, you can take the trends class. That's at the end of March. And if you want to learn how to actually trade as a day trader, if you want to learn how to day trade, you can take my Golden Gap class. The next one is March 21st and 22nd. It'll be a good class because it's right before the next quarterly earnings season, which is second quarter, which starts in April. And there's a lot of gaps to trade in earnings season, and it starts in April. So market's higher. I don't know where we gap tomorrow. Neutral or up slightly, or a little teeny, weeny, weeny down gap. But it depends where we gap tomorrow, how we trade intraday. Either way, though, the market is still higher. It is extremely, extremely, extremely bullish. This is Melissa with the stockswish.com. If you'd like more information or to sign up for the next Golden Gap class, email me at melissa at the stockswish.com. Thanks, everyone. Have a great night.